Alec. <laughs> What it's like to be a lunch lady. When you picture a lunch lady, most people imagine a grumpy old woman with a hairnet, glasses, hairy mole, and rubber gloves up to her biceps. An example of this imaginary woman would be from the Adam Sandler skit Lunch Lady Land, starring Chris Farley as the lunch lady. Yes, this is funny, but we know it's not real, like in a school kid. As a lunch lady, I take pride in the work I do. Believe it or not, a lot of thought and planning goes into every meal and menu that I make. There are many rules and regulations from the state and federal government that I must know in order to perform my job. What are you doing? For instance, First Lady Michelle Obama just recently enforced new guidelines for the school lunch programs. I have to increase the amounts of whole grains, fruits, vegetables, and beans in weekly menu. This has proven to be a successful idea and the kids still seem to enjoy the school breakfasts and lunch that I serve them. But food guidelines are not the only rules I need to know. There are many sanitary guidelines that I must follow as well so that I am not or any of the food I am working with does not pass any contaminations along to the children or many staff members that are eating my meals. The most famous rule would be thoroughly wash my hands and not to forget to wear rubber gloves while preparing and serving food. Also, I must wash the counters with special sanitizer fluid that comes directly from a sink that is specifically designed for this purpose only. All dishes and utensils are washed in a sterilizing dishwasher with temperatures that reach up to 180 degrees. This is also to prevent the transfer of germs and disease. Not only does all the daily equipment need to be cleaned, but also the food. Fruits and vegetables should be washed to prevent E. coli, but the most important step to remember is when you are cooking the food, make sure that all the meats and meals reach the cooking temperature of 165 degrees. This is to prevent food poisoning by eliminating all bacteria that may be in food that you have prepared. prepared. Some foods such as eggs and fish only need to reach a temperature of 155 degrees. But I would rather have the temperature read 165 degrees than to take the risk of getting students sick. At the moment, there are a total of 310 students enrolled at the school that I work for. I need to make sure there is enough food available for all students whether they eat it or not. It's the law and it may sound like a waste of food, but I am happy to say I feed at least 265 students on a daily basis. This does not include the 150 students that I serve breakfast to every morning. This is a lot of meals that I am preparing and serving every day. You might be wondering, what do I get out of this? Well, it's the smiles that the kids give me, the hugs, the Christmas cards, the hellos, the how are you doing today, have a nice day, that's what I get out of this. I enjoy getting to know these kids and watching them grow. I try to memorize each and everyone's names. Sometimes school can be a safe haven for certain kids and I want to be one of those reasons why that kid is attending school, why they enjoy coming to school. Sometimes I feel children need their I feed them their only daily meals. So I want to make sure what I prepare is healthy and nutritious, but also enjoyable. Nothing beats a thumb, thumbs up and a few compliments after each meal from students you cook for. I not only cook for them, but I also vol volunteer my time at sporting events, open houses, and participate in the accelerated reading program. The AR program encourages children to read and rewards the participants that reach one main words. The kids love this and when they see me or other staff members involved in this, it brings you closer to them. It also makes you out to be a role model and team player. I enjoy it when they notice me outside of the cafeteria. I feel like it makes me out to be a normal adult and not just a woman behind the counter serving them food. Through it all, I can honestly say I love my job and am proud to be a lunch lady. Thank you. Yay. Five minutes. Um.